Assalamu alaikum. Our today's video is about the last strike together by Robert Browning. It is a third part. In this video, we will cover Robert Browning biography, the last strike together introduction, themes, and literary devices. So let's start with the biography of author. Robert Browning was born in 7 May 1812 in England and died in 12 December 1889 in Italy. He was Victorian English poet and playwright. He was very famous for dramatic monologue, irony, characterization, dark humor, social commentary, historical setting and challenging vocabulary with syntax. His famous works include Men and Women, The Ring and The Book, Dramatic Lyrics, Dramatic Romances and Lyrics, My Last Touches and The Last Ride Together. Then I want to tell you the poem introduction. The Last Ride Together is published in 1855 in collection of men and women. It is consisting on 10 stanza. It is a monologue having a genre of love and loss poem. Its tone is bittersweet which balancing the sadness and optimism. Its setting is Hyde Park and time is evening. Then I want to talk about the themes of the poem. This poem includes theme of love, eternity, time, life, physicality, spirituality and loss. The theme of love, eternity, life and physicality is present. When narrator compare his love and life with poet, national hero and soldiers and said my life is better than them all. The theme of loss and time is present in the poem because it is the last time that he ride with his beloved and after that he lose his beloved. Now I want to tell you the literary devices of the poem. The rhyme scheme of the poem is A A B B C D D E E E C and it is written in iambic tetrameter. The first one literary devices is anaphora which is present in the lines since new at length my fate I know since nothing all my love avails. When two lines start in a poem with the same word since that is known as anaphora. The second one is hyperbole. In the very first line the using of the word dearest is hyperbole which shows exaggeration. Another literary device is personification which is present in the line my whole heart rises up to bliss. Then there is alliteration in the lines deep dark four fails was written my mistress. The next one is oxymoron which is present in the poem like joy and fear. Then there is irony in the fourth stanza last line. Where narrator claim that case vak sabse zada jo uske saath bura ho raha hai wo ye hai ki wo last time apni beloved ke saath ride kar raha hai. There is also assonance and consonance is present in the poem. In the line I said then dearest since tis so. The repetition of I and E is assonance and the repetition of T and D is consonance. The next one is metaphor in which the narrator compare the fleshy screen with the human body. Then there is sarcasm which is present in the sixth stanza last two lines and the end there is a repetition of the word right and side by side in the whole poem. In the end I just want to say that if you have any question any problem so ask in a comment section thank you